Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this video, let's see how we can classify signals basically. So, signals can be classified in three ways guys. According to limited things, we can classify them into three ways. If you go in depth, there are many many ways you can classify signals guys. So, the basic three things are based on the number of sources. Yep, if there are number of, if there are n number of sources, it's going to be a stronger signal in between those many sources. If it is a single source, it's going to be a weak signal, something like that. So based on the number of independent variables. So independent variables are nothing but the variables inside the parameters guys. So basically in our syllabus we are going to have only x of t with respect to time only we are doing everything guys. So if there may be x of t comma n like that there may be anything with respect to time and frequency or anything like that. So that's the third case. So the fourth the, sorry the third case is nature of independent variables guys so these signals are divided into continuous and discrete signals so a signal which is defined continuously for every value of independent variable is known as continuous signal continuous signals are also called as analog signals so this is the way how they represent there will be values for every particular thing it is it will have for value for this and it also has the value for this like that every minute things will have values so similarly when we come to discrete signals a signal which is defined for discrete intervals of independent variables it is nothing but only for integers for one you'll be having a value for two you'll be having a value three four five six like that for every particular limit of one a particular integers so continuous signals are denoted by t and discrete signals are denoted by n this is the most important thing guys you need to remember this whatever it may be you need to remember this guys it's really really important okay so in next tutorial we'll be going to see how we can represent these signals okay let's meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching